You are a band. It is not your job to bring 200 people to a venue. Otherwise, you're not going to get paid. What's going on, everybody? It's your boy, Rick Parma, and this is Talking Music, and this is our series in Talking Music, How to Be a Gigging Musician. This is going to be part B of my segment on pricing. Part A, if you didn't see the last video, please check it out. There will be a, a link at the end, or it'll be down in the, subscription, uh, the description. Uh, make sure you check it out. This is how to be a solo musician uh, when it comes to venues, and uh, uh, venues like restaurants, bars, clubs, things like that. Now, I'm gonna talk about a band situation, okay? In the same concept, restaurants, clubs, bars, venues. We'll talk about private events, solo, and band. Um, later on in the next video okay so check it out if you are a band all the same things that I talk about in the first video apply to you it's just that they happen to apply to you as a group the main thing is showing someone your value you are not a marketing guru you are a band it is not your job to bring 200 people to a venue otherwise you're not gonna get paid okay it's not this is not your job. So if you are a band and you go as a band name, there's no main person in front, it's a band, okay? Uh, where each part has basically an equal share. This is how you work business when it comes to venues, clubs, bars, things like that. Now, chances are you're gonna be playing mostly clubs, bars, bigger venues, not so many restaurants, even though now a lot of restaurants have decent bars, so that's kind of like all inclusive. So, but not as many just restaurants. So you, the restaurants usually don't have a budget for a full band or, or don't have the space, but there are some out there and this, this, will go, this will fit in there as well. You need to make a minimum of $100 a guy, okay? And this is the, this is the difference between a solo artist and the band thing is with a solo artist, you're taking the brunt load of all the work for the entire three hours that you're there. Two, three hours, sometimes four hours, depending on where you're at, okay? You're doing all the work. So your price can be 250, 300, 400 for you and, you, and, you, and, you, and it's worth it. You're bringing your own equipment, you're, doing, you're bringing all the mics and cables, whatever, and you're performing the entire night. Now in a band setting, yeah, okay, you're performing the entire night, but you're just doing your part in the group. So. It's asking for, you know, $3,000 for a restaurant for a four or five piece band is kind of crazy because unless it's a monstrous place and you know they, you know, you know they have the budget or whatever, um, and that's kind of like the going rate for bands or whatever, you definitely show your worth. It's just um, what I'm saying is that most restaurants are not going to have a $3,000 budget. I would say start at 150 a guy okay and don't forget like I said because you're a band you're all sharing the load so you're not you're not working as hard as the one guy who's doing this by himself you're just playing your instrument you're singing your you know your vocals your keyboards whatever um, but you're all sharing the load you all set up together you all tear down together everything is equal Negotiations always start high and then go low, okay? So if you're a band, a five-piece band, and you want 200 bucks a guy, that's a thousand bucks. So now you know your value. Go in with your price and agree amongst each other what we're gonna take, what we're not gonna take. This is our price. We bring an incredible value to your customer base. Don't forget, we are not marketing people. We are a band. We are here to entertain your clientele. Not to say that we won't let our fans and family and friends know that we're going to be here because, of course, they would like to come too and they would be happy to spend their money because of us at your venue. You always have to make sure that you let them know all my fans and my family and my friends, they're spending their money for me at your venue. They're not giving the money to me. They're giving the money to you for your food, your alcohol, but they're coming to support me. You have to let them know that because that's major, major part of your value. Also, when it comes to food, 
you're a band, you've been working a couple hours, chances are it's during dinner time or chances are it's during a, you know, jumping time, you're hungry, okay? You shouldn't have to take from your $200 that you earn just to pay for food at a venue that has food at wholesale costs. A lot of places do this. Oh, you know, we'll give 50%. That's not enough. First of all, you're working your butt off, you're a third party contractor, and you deserve to be able to eat and sustain yourself. If you're a band, you don't, you don't care about eating, you got guys that just don't want to eat, whatever, that's fine. But it should be in your price. I play with a lot of musicians that are vegans. I mean, I'm in California. It's just, for some reason, just they, they people come from other cities, they move to California, and all of a sudden they never eat meat anymore. I don't, I don't get it. So they're all vegans, right? So a lot of places we go to, they don't have vegan items on the menu. You know, and then the guys have to kind of like settle for a salad or for settle, you know what I mean? I mean, if that's how they want to eat, that's fine, but they should be able to still eat. You know, so I make sure every time I do like a private event, I make sure that if they don't have their food, I make sure I cover their food by giving them a little extra or whatever so they can, you know, but I'm putting into the price and not whatever. So now if you, if this guy doesn't get that extra $25 for his food, so now when he leaves the, the venue or maybe has to go early, he's got to spend his own money at a place where he can, just so he can eat because he's because he can't find nothing on this place's me- menu. Now granted, there's a lot of places that have stuff on the menu nowadays, but there's a lot of places that still don't. So, and plus with vegans, you know, and some people that are gluten free, like I have a buddy who's vegan and gluten free. so. He's kind of screwed in both ways, and he's one of those people that is real gluten-free where he actually gets sick if he has gluten. So, you know, it's one of those things where it's – he he's really kind of stuck. He's always bringing his own bag lunch like he's working a day job or he's going to, you know, grammar school. He's bringing a bag lunch, and I'm like, no, no, no. You're a grown man. You deserve to have good food. You deserve to, to, to be able to eat and, you know, use the money that you make to, to do that. So I want to make sure that they can eat. So bump your price up. An extra $25 per person, okay? So if your price is a thousand bucks and you got five guys, then you're eleven twenty-five, okay? That's your price. And just stick to it. Don't you don't say because it's because of food. You say it's because this is our price, you know, we're because of equipment, because of all the stuff that we need to bring, blah blah blah. That's your price. When they settle on that price and you and you get your price, there you go. Now you got your food covered. So if a band member doesn't want to eat, he gets his hundred. He gets his twenty-five dollars extra. You know, if you want to eat that twenty-five dollars that you use for to pay for the food that you're getting, you know, you already covered it. But chances are, most venues will either give you food or give you a discount in food. Okay, so you're asking for the twenty-five dollars not based off the fact of what their rules are with food. You're getting that extra twenty-five dollars because it's only it's only right to you. Now. If you go into a place and they say, you know, okay, we'll pay your price and, you know, everybody gets a, you know, a, a, a menu, an, a, one item or something off of our our uh, happy hour menu or something, whatever, but they're not giving you a an actual number, just say fine, but still put your price in with the $25 included in your food, okay? Because this is how it works as a bonus. There's like some bonus information for you. So say a place does give you 50% off, all right? Now you made your $25 for food, you're covered, and then you still get a 50% discount on the food, okay? If there are a place that says, oh, we're throwing a free meal, that still means you still add the $25 for food, okay? And that is a the, the very reasonable price. Why? Because they're charging $15 for a plate of spaghetti that costs them 50 cents to make, okay? Just don't let these restaurants bully you into, oh, we don't have budget. We don't have, if you don't have budget, if you don't have money, you never have money, how are you in business? Why are you in business? Their business practices are none of your concern. Your business practices are none of their concern. So you set your price just like they set their price. They got a $45 steak and you say, well, can I, can I give you 25? No, they're not going to give you $25 steak. They're going to give you a 45-hour steak. If you don't want it, they're going to say, well, we got a burger for 10 if you want a burger for 10. And that's for, for, that's what they're going to say to any customer. So don't mess with your price if they're not going to mess with their price. All right? So if you're a band, everybody does the same work. You know, 
Everybody has to agree on the price. Always brainstorm. If you don't agree on the price, you're going to have problems. People are going to be frustrated. Oh, I got, well, the drummer's going to be like, oh, I, you know, I bring all this equipment, and then the, and the, the saxophone guy, oh, he just brings his saxophone. And, you know, you, that's why you guys got to talk together. You have to be a band in your music and in your business. If it's a solo artist with a band, you know, like you're just finding band members each week or even if you use the same guys all the time like me, I'm a solo artist and they're the band that I'm hiring to back me up. If that's the case, it boils down to two things. A, who's bringing all the equipment? If you're a solo artist and you're bringing all the equipment, speakers and stuff, and they're just bringing their instruments, you make sure you get a little bit more. So if the band, if you're paying the band, you know, 200 bucks a guy, make sure you walk away with at least $500 for yourself because that's a lot of equipment. That's a lot of time of loading it in your car, get in your house, unloading it. I mean, you're up till two in the morning when the other band members have been sleeping since 11. So if it's your business, you know, and they're just a band backing you up, then that's your business and they're your employees. That's where you have to think of yourself as the solo artist kind of pricing. Just add extra pricing so you can pay the band. I'm going to talk about in the next video, private events. I just want to say thank you guys for watching. Please share. Don't forget to subscribe because it lets you know when my next video is coming out. The amount of views I get is what really helps me bring this channel up and up and up and really be able to help more and more people. And it's going to be only be because of you. I can't do it by myself. I need you guys to help share it. And I really appreciate it. Thank you so much. Please put all your comments on something that you've learned from this or something that you've experienced. If you haven't seen the other videos in the series, make sure you do that. I'll see you next time on Talking Music. This is Rick Parma. I'm out. Peace.